I'm sorry, I'm done. Welcome back, my nurtured babies. I hope that you've been fed your milkies. That's unhinged. Let's stop that there. <coughs> Excuse me. What do you get when you mix a 20-year-old with a love of doing things that are meant for kids? Fidget toy ranking reviews. And that is exactly what I'm doing today. A while back, I met this wonderful woman named Miss Bench, and she just so happens to be the creator of a fidget toy company. It is October, and when she sent these over to me, she did clarify some of them will be festive. Every time I rank fidgets, I love having a very nice tier list. They usually spell out something, so today's tiers is gonna spell out slay. First, you have the S tier. The S tier stands for Superman. If there's a fidget in this tier, it's gonna save my life one day. Directly under that, we have the L tier, which stands for Loco. These are gonna be the fidgets that blow my mind. They just do not need to have a purpose in this world, but they do. Following the Loco tier, we have the A tier, which stands for adrenaline. I wouldn't say that this is a good tier to be in because it will make my heart beat faster than it's supposed to. And when it comes to fidgets, that usually means it's uncomfy. Live, laugh, love that. And lastly, we have the Y tier, which stands for why, why were, you were you even, even born, born in the first, in the first place? place? Why were you born? Now that we have all the tiers out of the way, let's divulge. I couldn't find a pair of scissors, but I did find this fork. Something's telling me it will get the job done. <gasps> Not smart. It's coming. It's just needing a little TLC. Oh my goodness, there's bubble wrap. I know this isn't actually a fidget, but if I could rank it, this would be a Superman tier. I mean, this thing could very well save my life one day. And of course, nothing compares to the satisfaction of popping one of these things. No, because that was sad. I'm feeling for something that really catches my attention. I think we have our first one, and it's going to be... An orange squatty potty? I can't make the name up. It is in fact noisy potty putty. Love that. My handy dandy fork will take care of this part. I don't think I've played with something like this since the fifth grade. So this is either going to be super nostalgic or extremely gross. Ew. Oh, hey girl. Why is it so conformed to the cylindrical shape? Mm, okay, it's no longer conformed. <laughs> Nobody. Me after digesting three Taco Bell bean burritos. <laughs> I have, in fact, found its purpose. It's gonna go in Why Were You Born? I understand its purpose. That doesn't mean I like it. It just reminds me of a public restroom. What are you? Oh, no. It's the festivities. That is the most off-putting pumpkin. I don't know what's in there. I don't want to know what's in there, honestly, but I have to. Why is the lid not coming off? Ew. What are you? Oh, no. I got a party pack. Let's start with this Frankenstein guy. This looks like that kid from Shrek that goes, do the roar. Do the roar. Oh, my God. It blows. <laughs> I liked it. I didn't think I would, but I did. I mean, is it doing everything and more for me? No. I also think it might need an inhaler. It doesn't seem to know how to breathe. I think I'm going to put this in the adrenaline tier. There's something about that bubble that doesn't sit right with me. Next, let's do Mr. Skeleton. Okay. I'm not going to lie. This looks like something I would have made in an elementary school science project. I'm going to give it 10 out of 10 for posability. It's very versatile. Okay, awesome. This is a great role model for everything that belongs in the Why Were You Born tier. I think we found our contender. Honestly, 10 out of 10 appearance. It kind of looks like a happy Jack Skellington. I love taking out my anger. Let's just do that real quick. <laughs> what is inside of it? No. Uh-uh, girl. You got worms, baby girl? I think you do. I can't. That is larva. Aren't fidgets supposed to be aesthetic? I thought fidgets were supposed to soothe the mind and body. The act of pushing it soothing. I just can't look. You're gonna have to go in the adrenaline tier. That doesn't mean I like it. I need something simple. These ones catch my eyes. They're bright. Are these things you flick? <gasps> I think you put your finger in this side, and then you pull it, and then you push it, and it goes somewhere. If my calculations are correct, I'm gonna love these things. Here's the real question. How far will it go? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. It's giving Elastigirl. It's giving superpowers to the max. Therefore, you little nuggets are going in the Superman tier. Can I do a two for one? I apologize if this hits you. You disrespect me. You disrespect my family. What are you? It does appear to be like that spider that went famous on TikTok for being cute and cuddly. So it has that going for it. Hi. I can stretch it, but there's not much functionality besides that. Why does it kind of have the consistency of a booger? That's going in Why Were You Born? You got an answer for us? Crickets. If there's one thing I absolutely love, it's the same thing in a different font. At least this one's a broom and can make you feel like Cinderella. It is no longer a broomstick. It is just a broom. You're also going in Why Were You Born? I'm not a harsh critic, am I? That's a cobra. Oh? And if I didn't say so myself, it's amazing. It appears to have multiple holes scattered throughout its body and one giant hole on the rear. And look how aesthetic it is when it's not filled with creepy crawlies. They come out of everywhere. I love this. I'm a stan. You going in loco loco. I feel like he needs a name. Lester. You look like a Lester. This is the last gift from Lester. Why is it like screaming for help? No, because it's speaking a language and I'm somewhat understanding. I always come back. Really? I love that it's got tiny black balls in it. It doesn't have much else going for it, but it works. Oh, wait a second. Oh my God, there's something in it. Casper is in fact hidden inside. No, because you're kind of crazy for hiding a ghost inside your body. Not many people would do that. You seen The Conjuring? Loco. 
Does it stick to things? Oh my god, I need to test. Oh, that's really depressing. Okay, I'm finally done with Lester and his gifts. Someone took the time out of their day to not only create this, but manufacture it. I'm fine. Squidgy stress ball holds it together so you don't have to. That sounds like an infomercial. The reason I'm at a loss of words is for the things that it says on the inside. No thoughts. Head empty. I am fine. Hashtag mood. I pooped today. I don't get it. Is it just supposed to be a person that's liquefied and looks like urine? It's also extremely sticky. I don't necessarily know why. Ew. Y'all see that? I don't think I have a choice. This is for sure why were you born. I have a feeling it will stick to my wall though. Ooh. Really? Stay right there. Ooh. How dare you disrespect me. Oh my god, it sticks to this. Ow! Gurgling gut. Off to a great start. Love the name. If I'm ever walking in a store and I see something named gurgling gut, I'm not picking it up. That's just me though. Ugh. It's not squishy. It's hard. It's like a hard bouncy ball. So then why is it called gurgling guts? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Great, so the inside is actually hollow and filled with blood. You know, if someone ever asked me what it feels like to wear a contact and have something get stuck underneath, I'ma just whip this out. That's what it feels like. I don't like it. I don't understand it. I don't think we see eye to eye on many things. You're gonna go in the adrenaline tier. You make my heart palpitate, just not in a good way. No way. Slime candy? There's no way you're edible. I would love to look up if there's any lawsuits behind this. The lids are so hard on these things, Why? Right? It's giving tea party. It's giving microscopic. Oh, she's sealed. That's when you know it's the good good. I don't think you play with it. Ooh, don't mind me, slime. Just going in with a microscopic spoon, getting my good portion. I'ma just do it, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> they weren't kidding about the sour part. I like it. I'm addicted to the badness of it. I know it might look like I'm overreacting, but I promise this is very raw and authentic of me. I take it back. It's not that good. <sighs> this is loco. We're really upgrading here. Now we have hand sanitizer slime. It does say in the packaging it slides right off, so I'm just gonna pray that it does. <gasps> ew, ew, ew. It looks like snot. I feel like the cap's limiting my creativity. It's pickle rick. That's a lot of flubber. Whoa. This is probably the first slime I've received that doesn't stick to everything. I love that. But I'm not gonna lie, after playing with it for three minutes, I'm over it. I think I'm gonna put it in the loco tier. It's a little crazy. I don't understand why it has to be themed to hand sanitizer when we were in a hand sanitizer crisis three years ago, but to each their own. What? Is it actually milk tea? I'm confused. Nope, it's more slime. Oh my god, it's like the slug from Turbo. Ew! Oh no! It's all over my carpet. That is disgusting. There are like four pieces of singular boba. If there were more, I feel like I'd enjoy this experience, but there isn't. Not only does this look like snot, but it's snot for me. See what I did there? Why were you born in the first place? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the zit head. That is its actual name. I am not making this up. I don't even want to look. It sounds so gross. I'm not a fan of pimples. I've never been a fan of pimples. And that's not changing today. If there was ever a fidget that was the definition of the why were you born tier, it's this. Maybe I just don't like fidget. Am I the problem? Is it me? It's an axolotl. The morales are getting higher. On second thought, it might be plateauing. It's leaving behind a really gross residue on my hand. I mean, it does stretch. <laughs> Ew, I dissected it! R.I.P. Literally. I really think the breaking apart really set the bar for it going in the adrenaline tier. I'm gonna do this one next. It's called the chicken and egg. I don't really know what you're supposed to do with this. I need to touch some grass. I really need to just take a break for a second. A few moments later. I discovered the yolk. That's disgusting. Ah! Why is it not going back? Go back in! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, I pushed it. You have scarred me. And you're also going in Why Were You Born? My fidget toy provider woke up and chose violence. We have another slime. Same thing, different font. Don't go chasing waterfalls. I don't know how to feel about the clearness of it. Oh my gosh. This one is sticking to me a lot more. Its literal one purpose is to just exist. And because of that, I'm gonna put it in the Why Were You Born tier. You don't fit in anything else. It's just a cube. Okay. Hey, girl. It's like an ice cube that you can squeeze, and it just goes right back to its form. I high-key am a fan of this one. I mean, is it doing everything and more? No, it's just existing, but it still is pretty cool. And it's actually pretty stretchy, too. I love that. I might put this in the Superman tier, I'm not gonna lie. It's really satisfying to touch. And I love when things aren't messy. I am kind of inclined to bite you. I can't say I like it because I feel like that's weird, so I'm just not gonna say anything. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs>